our first guest. Her name is Bethany Gaskin. She knows all too well what it feels like to be judged. She is now officially a YouTube star, but at one point, even her own husband doubted her when she took a leap of faith. She quit her job, and she started making these food videos as part of the international social media trend. It's called mukbang. I'd never heard it or heard about it until a few weeks ago. It's been hugely popular for a few years, but your girl now has become obsessed. And I want to warn you, I'm warning you, TanFam, this is a judgment-free zone. But I have to legally tell you, these videos can be triggering for some people with eating disorders. Take a look. Here it is, 20 packs of the cheesy fire news. It's the wildly popular, highly lucrative online movement that originated in South Korea, mukbang, which translates to eating broadcasts. Mm -hmm. Involves content, oh. creators consuming oh. often large, and I mean large, quantities of food on camera. We did it. Oh, oh my goodness. Fans of the genre can't get enough. Mukbang videos have exploded in popularity with billions of views across social media, and in some cases, turning everyday people into overnight millionaires. What's up, my Bethany Gaskin is one of America's top mukbang creators. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Amassing a loyal fan base of more than 4 million followers, including Cardi B, who tune in to watch the mom of two mm -hmm. chow down on mm. mounds of shellfish. It's gonna get messy. Don't judge me. Now the mukbang superstar has transformed what was once a fringe hobby into a food empire, and she's just getting started. Is that a good thumbnail? Wow, please welcome YouTube superstar, multi-millionaire, mukbang legend, Bethany Gaskin! dare you walk out here without a <laughs> plate of crab or something for me? I know, I know. Okay, so you started posting videos in 2017. 2017, yep. I am new to this world of mukbang. Okay. I don't know what happened. I was on vacation, I'm scrolling, and then all of a sudden videos started popping up, and it must have been the algorithm. I must have been stopping. And I called my cousin, I said, what is this? <laughs> she said, it's called mukbang. Yes. And she goes, there's only one person you need to talk to because she is the legend, <laughs> Bethany. <laughs> Um, people thought you were out of your mind. Yes, absolutely. Crazy. Like, what are you doing? How did you first hear about this trend? Because it started in South Korea. Yes. But my younger son, Darius, told me about this. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do a YouTube. It's going to be a little hobby. And then I was just going to do cooking videos. But then I decided to eat my food. So business is so... <laughs> <laughs> On camera. Business is so good. I'm yes. sitting here looking at you with a diamond crab mm -hmm. around your neck. Yes. That's how successful it's been for you. Yes. So fans talk about when they watch these videos, they get this tingling feeling up their back. Mm -hmm. They like listening to you with the crunch. There's, yes. this, there's a secret to it. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. There, doctors call it uh, ASMR, that is Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Uh -huh. That's the response we have, physical sensation to seeing things or hearing things. So had you ever heard of this sensation before? You know what? I've heard of it, but I don't get that sensation. You don't. I don't understand it. Okay, yeah. I, I don't get the sensation. For me, it's more just like, what, what is happening? Right. <laughs> but for people who don't understand this ASMR mukbang feeling, mm -hmm. okay, take a listen and take a look. Tingly, I'm not getting oh, turned on, right, right, okay? Right, 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 right. I just don't, my body reacts. To, I'm like, I'm sweating right now. 
in, you had an interview with the uh, New York Times. This is so big. You were interviewed for the New York Times. Mm -hmm. You said, I think of mukbanging as a ministry. Correct. What are you ministering? <laughs> you know what? Because I have a lot of cancer patients. People are on dialysis that reach out to me and let me know that I have helped them regain their appetite. Mm -hmm. I've had people that had weight loss surgery and couldn't regain their mm -hmm. appetite or be sick and them watching me eat helps their re help them regain the appetite or lose weight. Okay, so full disclosure, because I, I do cyber stalk you and I read <laughs> comments. Yeah. And, and my cousin Erica in Texas, she also cyber stalks you. Mm -hmm. She texts me, she goes, look at this comment under your video. Mm -hmm. And there was someone who said they had had an eating disorder mm -hmm. and that watching your video made them want to eat. Mm -hmm. That it stimulated that yes. part yeah. of their body. Mm -hmm. Now, your most popular mukbang video has 14 million views. It's you sitting alone. Mm -hmm. I have watched it probably 9 million times. <laughs> She's eating a seafood boil yes. for a half an hour on camera. Take a look. Oh, look at that. This is a dream, y'all. Yes, I had to dip it in this sauce. The next big one I get, I do it in the butter. Mm. Mm. I don't care how full you get off of the stuff. Every bite is still so good. Wow. <laughs> okay. Are you really? I because I was wondering, like, how can she consume this much food? So Are the you thing like, about it is, is when I have that much food in front of me, I do not finish it all. Right. I don't know why people think that I finish it all. It's all for clicks. Okay. So if you see a little piece of crab on there, you're not gonna click on that video. But if you see a massive amount of food, this little girl or little woman, right, right. you know, trying to eat, you're gonna click on that video because you're curious. But you know, I eat majority, but I can't eat it all. So yeah. sometimes I eat off that three days. So this is almost sometimes. like... <laughs> so when you're on your tape days, do you fast and then get sometimes ready? Sometimes once a day. Sometimes I eat once a day, you know, or snack throughout the day, but I typically... Um, you know, eat the seafood. Right, so you're a prize fighter, essentially, getting ready. Why seafood? What is it? Because I love I seafood. I just love seafood. Me too. I love everything that comes from the sea. <laughs>